Let's customize HTML and CSS in our Cardo maps. So there are a couple of places where you might want to customize the HTML and CSS. I'm going to start with pop-ups. So if I turn on a relatively simple pop-up and add a couple of fields here, if I click on one of the features on my map, you'll see the standard Cardo pop-up, and there are a couple of other templates you can use for these pop-ups. But um, unless you use HTML and CSS, you can't really customize these too much. You can change the labels here. Um, so I could say host name, and when I open a new feature, you see that it no longer has an underscore in it, which is definitely an improvement. Um, but if I wanted to do anything more complicated than that or rearranging the fields, then I'm going to want to use HTML and potentially CSS. And the way you can do that is to go down to the bottom here to the values and HTML switch and click on that switch and you'll see something like this. It's kind of a lot of HTML to make a pop-up, but the parts we're interested in are in here. So these are this is where the pop-up itself is happening. And we can test that out by finding, for example, we have a name field. I can find the word name here and just to make sure that I'm in the right place. I'll type in test here and hit apply or control S or command S and you'll see that test is now in there and I can go back here and undo that and hit apply and it goes back to name. When the pop-up is actually using the values of columns in your database then it's going to use two curly braces. So you can see these two curly braces here. And again, to confirm that I'm in the right place, I could put test in here and hit save. And you'll see that the word test comes before the name of the feature that we're clicking on. And we can try that with a couple of different, couple of different spots in here. Cool. So, um, I'm going to undo that also. All right. So what kinds of um, customizations might I want to do? For one, I might want to just remove this name header. Maybe the fact that it is the name is kind of obvious, such as it is in this case. Um, so you can, you can find that element and just delete it. Um, you might also want to say, um, maybe I want to get rid of all of those, so I can do that one by one, and hit save. And maybe I want uh, to to make this flow a little bit better. Maybe I want it to say something like, hosted by Matthew in Clinton Hill. So I can do that by saying, hosted in, or by. You can see that it now says hosted by Matthew. And it's going to, like I showed before, it's going to be, do that for any feature we click on. Cool. So um, if I wanted to move this neighborhood field into the same area, I'm just going to select the neighborhood, the word neighborhood, and the curly braces around it. I'm going to cut it and paste it up here. And I'll put the word in between that so that it's hosted by Gisela in Bedford-Stuyvesant. And then I'm going to delete the unneeded one now since that's empty. Okay, 
So, so you can see that we, we can customize the text that goes into these pop-ups quite a bit. Uh, we can also style this, and to style things, I'm going to find the end of the class. So class here equals, and then double quotes. At the end of those double quotes, I'm going to add the word style equals, and then two double quotes. And all your styles go in there. And any valid CSS should work in there. So for example, I could make the color of the text gray. Or I could make it a little bit smaller. I could say font size, let's start with 12px. Okay, I guess that's the size that it is. Let's try 10px. So it's a little bit smaller. Uh, maybe I want to make the name a little bit bigger. So I go up here at the end of class and at the end of the double quotes, I'm going to type style equals double quotes and then font size, uh, let's say 16px, just a little bit bigger. Okay. Um, and you could customize this a lot more if you wanted to. Um, you could make it, you could increase the space between them by saying margin top um, 10 px, 10 pixels of space between them. Um, maybe we want to make it bigger, 20, 50, if we wanted to. I think 20 is fine. Um, okay, so that's, that's how you can customize the text and the style of the text in a pop-up. If I go over to this example, you can see that I've added images in here. So if I click on different points, you can see that images are showing up in my pop-up. And I also did this through custom HTML. Um, my HTML in this case is I added an IMG element an image element, and the image element has a source, src, and that source needs to be a full URL to an image. In this case, you can see that, it, that instead of a URL, we have the word image with two double curly braces around it. Um, that says to Cardo, go get the value for the image column for the feature that I just clicked on. Um, so if I open up my table view, you can see that the image column has URLs in here. So I can copy this URL and open it in a new tab and you'll see, yep, it goes straight to the image. And I can tell that it goes straight to the image in part because it has, ends with dot, in this case, dot gif. Um, one of these is dot JPEG. Yeah, so any of those will work as long as it goes straight to the image, not to a page with an image on it. It needs to be the actual image itself. Um, cool. So that's that's one way that you can have custom images in your Cardo maps for each feature. One last thing I want to show is the legend. You can customize the legend a little bit. So right now our legend is a pretty pretty standard Cardo legend. Um, if we wanted to add some text after it, we can turn the switch to HTML and after the legend here, I can put, say, um, this might not be a bad place to put your data source, so I could say data via inside Airbnb and save that can see now it says where the data is coming from. It doesn't link to it and the styles aren't great. So let's fix those two things. Um, first, let's create that link. And a link looks like a href equals. And then in double quotes, the URL. And anything between the opening tag and the closing tag will be the text of our link. So I'm going to go to inside Airbnb, copy that URL, and put it in the double quotes. 
and hit save. And you can see that it is now a link. I can open this in a new tab. Works fine. Um, if I want that to always open in a new tab, I can, after the URL, I can put target equals and in double quotes underscore blank. That's going to always open it in a new tab. Okay. So now if I want to style this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap that whole thing in what's called a div. In HTML, a div, you can think of a div as just, just a box, just a generic box. It's not going to change the styles on its own. So if I save it now, you see it didn't do anything at all. But now we can style that box by saying style equals. And you can use all the same CSS we were just using. So we can say font size, uh, let's say 12px, make it a bit smaller. Um, maybe make it even smaller than that, 10. And maybe I want to make the font a little bit different. So you can pick different font families. I'm just going to go with a generic sans serif so that it matches a little bit better. You might want to um, go overboard and find some other font families that you want to use. Um, also, I want to increase the space between this text here and the legend. So I'm going to say margin top and let's make it 20 or 15 pixels. All right, that looks pretty good. Maybe make it 10. 15 is a little too large. Yeah, that works. Um, and as as I said with the pop-ups, you can, you can customize this quite a bit. You could you could put images in there. You could um, put more links and things like that. The only thing you can't do in the legend is refer to the data in the table because you don't have access to the table here. You you can just add static text and images here. Okay, so that's customizing HTML and CSS in Cardo.